What's Gucci everybody? Welcome to my second part on how to make a professional resume. In this video we're going to continue using LaTeX and we're going to go over the basic settings for our modern CV package which is going to allow us to make our resume. Also in this video we're going to compile our resume and we're going to show it off for the first time. So right here I'm in my class file. Don't worry about typing anything. I will have all this code, all this text in the in the section below in the uh, detail section below in text you can just copy and paste it but I have my text file right here which I've just switched to and my CLS file my class file right here which I've just switched to and in this video we're going to be going over the class options so note that I have my document class AJ resume and I have my AJ resume class file so the document class option right here on line one I can highlight it kind of is going to look for my class file called AJ Resumes uh, class, which I am looking at. Okay, so now I'm going to load a class with this option slash load class. Now what load class is going to do is it's going to look for a class inside my LaTeX system, which hopefully, since I've installed it correctly, will find it online and be able to import it. So all that is done magically for you through LaTeX, so you don't have to worry anything. But now what this class is going to allow us to do. It's going to allow us to use all the options somebody already wrote for us. The great, which is um, the great thing about coding, is we can use the work someone else has done. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the modern CV class, CV standing for Curriculum Vitae, and what that is going to do is it's going to allow us to have some easy options to edit our papers. So the so in the brackets, as you notice right here, the ending in the first one, we can have our options. Now in the brackets, we don't have to say options, but we do need within these curly braces, we do need the same modern CV that tells us the package. The brackets tell us exactly which options we want. There are default options, but we can also set our own. So as you can see here, we can have 11 point font, the other options you can have are 10, 11, and 12. So there's three different fonts. You can have A4 paper, and so there's A4 paper, A5, B5, legal paper, executive paper, and landscape. And so those are different kinds of paper. Uh, landscape obviously being flip paper, allowing you to do. There's also sans and roman font, R-O-M-A-N for the font. So, so it goes, you know, um, font size, the type of paper, and then the type of font. So all in a row, separated by a comma, inside braces, and then the modern CV is required in the curly braces. So there you go. And so that's pretty cool. And so that's all going to be loaded into this text document when we compile it at the end of our video. So the next thing we're going to have is our modern CV style. So this is again another function made by the library modern CV. And so I'm going to have the style of banking, that's my favorite, but there's also casual, classic, old style, and banking. And I'll show off a few, maybe at the end I'll show off two. And then you can do modern CV color. So if I showed you my resume at the beginning, it was blue. You can change it to red, orange, green, purple, gray, and black. And did I mention red? So that's pretty cool. And also, so those are some really kind of font-wise or design choices you can have. I'll show you the different designs. And you can mess around with these easily. That's why I'm not, not going to show them off in practice, because you can just mess with it and see what you like, depending on what your resume maybe you need more color, or maybe you're a designer, so you want your um, font to be bigger or something like that. But now we're going to get into what I really like about this, and that is um, the personal data or the title tag, really. So in here, we're going to define all these other functions that are going to be imported to our um, resume when we compile in LaTeX. And so we have a function called name here. And so within name, it takes two parameters. It takes curly braces. It takes two types of curly braces or two curly braces. One should be the first name, AJ. And notice here, I have a nickname, AJ. I have Alex, but I have AJ. And so I have kind of a, I have a single quote at the end. And then I have kind of a tab character at the end or a um, hyphen. Not really, but you know what I mean. It's above It's above the tab symbol. You don't have to press shift for it. And so that will do, that will correctly put small quotes, that will put the correct quotes in the correct way for our name, but that's, we'll show you the title. And then the title will show you, we'll have the title. So if you're a computer scientist like I am, you'd put computer scientist actually. I'll just put computer title for right now. Okay, and so that's optional. All these are optional. Actually, no, not all these are optional. Title's optional. So you can comment that out with a, um, I have that commented out with a percent sign. That's how you do comments. So personal data right there is not read in. Then you have address, and it takes in three curly braces. As you can see here, I have the address, the way the address in the U.S. system works. So you can get that with um, the street address, city, state, 
zip code country and again that's optional and then I have my phone and you can put I, I put mobile there so there's a nice little mobile picture you don't have to put anything in the brackets but that's an option so it'll show a nice little mobile phone symbol then I have email which is optional it's really cool because as you see when we upload the PDF if you click the email it will automatically generate um, look go into your email and generate like a blank email for you to quickly send the email because it's a it's a tag a home page if you have a website again it's another website so I have ajnorton.com and when you click it it takes me there um, you can have social links so I have my github which is a programmers kind of resume in a way it's where you host your projects and then I have a LinkedIn which again is given with the curly brace options and these will give me different logos next to the icons they are and then I have the link to those pages and within again another set of braces and then in the curly braces I have the actual IDs of them on those sites but with the curly braces the second parameter I can then they can then be a link to go to that social network so that's pretty cool and you can also do Twitter um, the third option you could do another social one with Twitter and that's all you got github LinkedIn and Twitter if you want to do another picture you got to do it yourself which I'm not gonna cover right now so that's it for this for that for that and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna quit out of that actually I'm gonna quit out of that and then remember we have our make file right here and so it's simply doing that so what we're going to do is I'm just going to call make and that's going to run all this stuff and if you have uh, latex correctly all this stuff should pop up don't worry about font warnings or anything of that and then I'm going to open and I'm going to see I should have a dot pdf file which was compiled this minute and I'm going to do I'm just going to do open you can open it from a regular file finder like finder and mac or you can just open it here with open pdf and there we go. I have Alex Norton. I have it in the red color I have. And then I have all those things I showed you. So I have my phone number. My address is formatted nicely at the top. And then I have a mail, a mail icon with a nice uh, little mail symbol right there. I have my site with a nice little mouse. GitHub with a nice little GitHub, Git Octo Git, and LinkedIn. So it's really cool and it's a really easy way to make a CV title. Well, guys, that's all. Hope the video wasn't too long. Let me know what you guys think. Feedback is very important to me. Thanks. Bye.